today's lesson url session how can fetch server data in our app so let's start first of all i've already find out some free apis to get data so i have search out json placeholder and get free apis this here should json placeholder tpcode.com this is url and this is the create create url variable url is like this url optional type so select this and paste here and not casting so return and create url session dot shade dot data task with using this compiler handler block so this is url here set url and click the enter open our compiler handler block so first data second is a response and third is error all type is optional type and create variable is a session and session dot resume so not resume call so our api is not call so we are create we directly use this here dot resume sorry resume we do not proper way so i create variable and then resume call so if error equal error type is optional type so see this so error equal equal null so error is null so our request data is successfully get so print data value is a data receives it this data value so data and not error not equal null so else condition so print our error error dot localization string this is optional we are print out so run our and we need add info playlist to apply permission to our api call so we is add app transport security setting and click that this is type of dictionary type open this arrow and click to allow attribute loads is selected and this is boolean type so no default is i have changed yes without adding this info playlist permission not working all our server apis so we required and need compulsory to call our apis so run this app run and this call service we to get data in 83 bits data is received nothing without any error so this is get data 83 bytes so thank you watching this video like video share video and subscribe this channel hit the notification bell you will get notification my latest video thank you